Hello, and welcome to Sot and Brain Hub. My name's Charlotte, and today I'll be talking you through the Papez circuit. So let's start with some facts. The Papez circuit is a loop within the brain that contains some of the components of the limbic system. The circuit is considered vital for episodic memory consolidation. In particular, establishing the emotional significance of memory for the purpose of survival. Damage to the Papez circuit, or its components, is associated with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Korsakoff syndrome. So let's just start by orientating ourselves. Here we're looking at a medial view of a sagittal section of the brain. As I said, the Papez circuit is a loop within the limbic system. I'll now talk you through its components. The Papez circuit both starts and ends with the hippocampus, hence it being called a circuit. Here you can see that coloured in blue. From the hippocampus, fibres travel through the C-shaped fornix and connect to the mammillary body. From there, fibres travel in the mammillothalamic tract between the mammillary body and the thalamus, specifically the anterior nucleus of the thalamus. After this, fibres project to the cingulate gyrus and the cingulum, which you can see here coloured in green. Then, they move on to the entorhinal cortex, which is a specific area of the parahippocampal gyrus. Finally, they return back to the hippocampus, which completes our loop. So let's go over that one more time. We start at the hippocampus, then the fibres travel via the fornix to the mammillary body, then via the mammillothalamic tract to the anterior nucleus of the thalamus, then to the cingulate gyrus and cingulum, the entorhinal cortex, and finally back to the hippocampus. And that completes our Papez circuit. Now I'd like to look in a bit more detail at the hippocampus and fornix, so follow the diagram as we go along. The fornix is the outflow tract from the hippocampus. As you can see, the fimbriae of the fornix emerge from the medial surface of the dentate gyrus, which is a part of the hippocampal formation. The fimbriae swing round and become the crura, and eventually the body of the fornix, which lies above the thalamus. This divides into the columns of the fornix, which enters into the mammillary body. And as we spoke about before, you can then see the mammillothalamic tract connecting the mammillary body to the anterior nucleus of the thalamus. So what do we use the Papez circuit for? It's involved in memory, in particular, episodic memory consolidation. This is the kind of memory that you can recall due to its context. For example, you know when you're trying to remember something in an exam and you may be able to picture where you were when you first learnt that information or maybe an emotion you felt during the time of learning it. Well that's episodic memory and it can be likened to mental time travel. And you can thank your Papez circuit for that. And what's the clinical significance? Damage to the Papez circuit, or its components, can cause an impairment of memory. It's associated with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and Korsakoff syndrome. So that's our quick overview of the Papez circuit. Thanks for watching. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.